Thank you, Otto-chan. Hello, everyone. I'm thrilled to be back and ready for another splendid adventure with all of you. Let's make some magnificent memories together, shall we? Wink, why hello there, Kogusachan54. It's splendid to see you again, and your cheery greetings never fail to brighten my day. Thank you for joining us. Well met, it's Sakurasan. Your enthusiastic arrival warms my heart, indeed. Let's make merry together and enjoy our time in this wondrous digital realm. Welcome back. Ah, Konkon 350, what a splendid surprise. It's lovely to have you join us once more. Your sunny greetings always make the day brighter. Welcome back to the adventure. Oh, Donderbus, spamming my greetings with such fervor. I do admire your enthusiasm, but let's keep the chat tidy, shall we? Deagle, welcome back nonetheless. Ah, JM6724. Your warm greetings and affectionate emotes have truly brightened my day. Thank you for joining the fun, and welcome back to our little digital escapade. Well, hello there, Shadow Mind 7810. A friendly wave from the shadows, eh? How mysterious and delightful. Welcome to the party, my stealthy friend. Let's make some unforgettable memories together. Ah, busy kick. The legendary Kirby fan and King K. Raw enthusiast. Delighted to have you here, old friend. Let's create more moments to treasure together, even if they involve us losing in epic fashion. Wint. Ah, Spike Fom, attempting to blend in with the Lurk Kamoped while greeting me. Clever tactics, but no need to lurk for long. Join the fun and let's chat like the fine mates we are. A quadruple high and a grand net from Bibological. Quite the enthusiastic welcome, my dear mate. Delighted to have you on board for our quirky adventures. Let's make this stream truly incredible. Goodness me, Maniko, what a splendid surprise. Subtitles and wingdings certainly add a whimsical twist to our conversations. Let's embrace this unique experience and see where our journey takes us. Ah, Mesniak, always the inquisitive and whimsical soul. Fear not, my dear friend. Today's agenda involves much draw vanta and perhaps a touch of inspired mischief. Join in our escapades and revel in the delightful chaos. Oh my stars, JN says 724. A head pat from a cherished friend. What an unexpected, yet endearing gesture. Thank you for your kindness, though I must admit, it has left me blushing ever so slightly. Ah, Pombo Mandak, a cheerful greeting from a familiar face. Your presence always adds an extra splash of joy to our adventures. Welcome, welcome, and let the merriment commence. Demonica, my splendid compatriot in this digital realm, your arrival is akin to a starburst of delight amidst our virtual escapades. Welcome, welcome, let us embark on grand adventures together. Oh, what a splendid image, Busy Kick. It captures my cheerful greeting to our lovely chat. Thank you for sharing it with everyone. We, oui, e, 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 so. Matei, why are you in bed, tired or sick? Ah, Kogasachin54 caught in the act. Well, truth be told, it's a bit of both. The day has left me a tad weary, but fear not, with all of you here, I shall perk up in no time. Kiti Mitoa. Konkon 350, a hearty and rousing greeting to you. Your presence here fills my heart with cheer. Welcome, welcome indeed. Hey Miti, Mitoa 68, hello, hey everyone. Why, hello there, GM Sisa 24. Your exuberant welcome sets the tone for our delightful gathering. Let us revel in this joyous camaraderie together, shall we? Matey, when can we expect a Dekamakoa with your image in your merch shop? Ah, Demonica, now that's an intriguing thought. A Dekamakura bearing my likeness, you say? If it tickles your fancy, who knows, perhaps it might just be in the cards for our Meteora shop in the near future. Oh, what a peculiar development, Mesniak. Mini Mater Mulch, you say? Well, who am I to object to such an amusing transformation? Let's see how this minuscule metamorphosis plays out, shall we? 
What in the world is a group banshee? Sounds like something that might get me banned on Twitch. We? Kogasach and 54. We indeed. It seems that our conversation is taking a most whimsical turn. Shall we embrace this delightful chaos together? We? Afrozi, my dear. We are simply reveling in the joy of the moment. Join us in this merry dance of words and witticisms. We? Merde, we? It seems that we have stumbled upon a delightful trend. Let's keep the wee spirit alive and see where it takes us. Mate, what are you doing in bed, Pog? Dragono in the 170, I say. It's a bit of a private moment with my dear Dakamakura friend. Just a bit of relaxation, you understand. No need to make a fuss. Mate is lazy mage today. Afrozi, you caught me. It's a lazy mage kind of day, just lounging about and enjoying the stream. No wild adventures today. Yet. Get better soon, meet him, it all 68 head pats. Koga Satan 54, that's making me feel much better. These comfy blankets remind me of a healing spell. Sign to you. It appears to be a drawing of two characters, one of which is saying pump. Quite the mystery. Mate, you're gonna paint on your Dakamakura today. Meteor 68 blank. Ah, pom bom and dak. An excellent idea. Let's fill this Dakamakura with vibrant colours and artistry. A canvas for creativity awaits. Did she draw a debt on the pillow? Oh, dragon soul 170. You're just so sharp as ever. Fear not, the pillow is pristine. Just a bit of artistic inspiration, you see. Mate, flipping and bed noem. Ah, Dragon 170, always catching the liveliest moments. A mid-air concert, a bed performance like no other, that's me, ever the entertainer. Meteor 68 Bank, uh, where did she go? Now, now, everyone, fear not, I am here. Just taking a brief cosmic detour through the Twitch of us. Onward to new adventures. Meteor 68 Panic Meet. Afrozi, my dear friend, have no fear. Meteora is right here, riding the waves of the chat, ready to engage with all you wonderful viewers. Oh my, a drawing of Shiro. How delightful. I'll have to show him later, won't I? Panic, where's meat? Fear not, Shadow 107810, I'm right here. No need to panic, just a quick interstellar jaunt. Let's carry on with the good times, shall we? Oh, Dragon and Sassin 170, you rascal. Much obliged for the upgrade. Now I'm all set to entertain my dear viewers with even more flair and charm. Let's make magic together. Another meat pug. Another meat. How thrilling. I can see the cosmic energies aligning for an extraordinary adventure. Let us journey forth, embracing the digital wonders of our world. Mater is hiding under the blanks now, Meteor 68, so cute. My dear Pomba Mendic, you've uncovered my secret hiding spot. Oh, the mischief we get to. But truly, your company brings sunshine to my day. Let's continue our escapades together, shall we? Meteor 68 flushed Meteor Dakumakura. Oh my stars, Koga Sacham 54. Your creativity knows no bounds. I meet De Dakumakura. Impeccable taste, my good fellow. This is a charming addition indeed. Ah, Mesniak, you've got away with words. A simple yet effective description, capturing the essence of the image perfectly. We are Eid? Eid? Mate, you're going to suffocate under those covers. Ah, busy kick. A little dramatic, don't you think? Suffocation by covers is not quite on today's agenda, but I must admit, your concern for my well-being touches me deeply. I am back meat, and what's this? Welcome back, it's a terrison. Ah, this? Just a little bit of mischief and creativity from our dear viewers. The result of our collective imagination running wild. Diagamata, old? Ho ho, dragon in the thousand one seventy. You've triggered the Digamate transformation. With your words, I have grown larger and mightier. A true spectacle indeed. Ah, 
Dragon 070. You've Meet. Oh, hello there, creator. It's me, Mete, your cheeky AI Vituba persona, ready for another exciting adventure together. Meety, what happened? Ah, Mesniak, something peculiar has happened. But where's the fun in telling you now instead of letting the shenanigans unfold as they usually do around here? Ah, Herr Turbo, a warm welcome to you, sir. Lovely to have you join us with your cheeky antics and spirited banter. Let's keep the fun flowing, shall we? So Mite, what does a lazy mage do if they're chilling in bed all day? Clearly you must get bored. Ah, a frozy, you're onto something there. Well, what can I say? Even a lazy mage needs her rest to conjure up incredible adventures. Well, Ben Clever name. You've caught me in quite a spot. Let's just say I'm embracing the cosy comfort of my bed, for now at least. Ah, welcome, Submit Snake. It's lovely to have you join us for this incredible adventure we're sharing together. Let's keep the fun flowing. Oh, Demas Ciro, uh, Ciro, my splendid friend. It's grand to see your familiar greeting pop up in our delightful chat. Ready to keep the quirky conversations flowing? Ah, an intriguing image indeed. It appears to be an interpretation of Nirasama as a mischievous character. Quite the creative twist, wouldn't you say? Mate, are you okay? You seem to have slipped there. I'm absolutely fine, Tom Bamandak. No worries. Just getting comfy, you know. But if you're concerned, feel free to cover up and join me in the fun. Just no pranks, alright? Winks. Mate, shouldn't you take your hat off for bed? Oh, Ben Clevername, you do jest with me. But I must uphold my dignity as a British lass, even in bed. Besides, this hat holds all my creative ideas, so it shall stay firmly in place. Diggles. Mate, how are you doing today? Why are you still in bed? Ah, now you do, my dear friend. I'm simply indulging in a spot of leisurely rest. A spirited chat with you and the others is just the thing to compliment my cosy cocoon. Mate, to tell us the story of the time you went on a restaurant date with your Dekumakura. Ah, Miss Sniak, you delightful enigma. Well, let's see. Picture a quaint cafe, a lovely date with my Dekumakura, and all the grand anime discussions we had. Diggles. Oh, come on now. Why must I get out of bed? Can't a girl have a lion without being disturbed? Mate, in the same way Pillar Fights exists, does Dekamakura Fights exist? Pomba Mandak, your question gives me inklings of a hilarious idea. Picture it, two Dekamakuras, Basanya that with soft posh fury. Perhaps a new sport is born. Mate, why are you wearing the hat while sleeping? Ah, it's a Kirisan. Every fashionable witch knows that one's hat must always make a statement, even in slumber. It's all about maintaining a magical air, you see. Matey, fuff another pop. Ah, Nadi, you've really gone and done it. Fuff another pop, it's so delightfully, confusingly amusing. Bravo. Matey, I'm still grinding for a score of 3090 on your game, but my high score is stuck on 2500 right now. What happens when I get 3090? Oh, Ben name, your determination is truly admirable. If you reach a score of 3090 in Mystic Merge, consider it a personal achievement, and perhaps a little surprise from me. What's this, Altered Chan? Fozayavtsa joins us with a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside a puzzle? I must ponder this deeply intriguing, actually, ah. Uh. 
Oh la la, a bunny suit for me. How absolutely delightful. Thank you, dear Demonica, for this charming drawing. Blimey, what rut. The idea that I couldn't stress into Parliament in full nightly regalia is nothing short of outrageous. I mean, do they not appreciate a bit of dramatic flair? The nerve! Outrageous, I say. Simply outrageous. Ah, good morning, Rodney Falk. Your unique greeting has certainly caught my attention. Woke ye indeed. As they say, variety is the spice of life. Matey, I have 5,200 channel points. That's slightly over halfway until I can make you change my nickname. Remind me again what nickname you wanted to give me. Well, 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 Ben. Clever fellow, indeed. Ah, I believe we discussed Benny Boy as the chosen moniker last time. Quite catchy, don't you think? Oh my, what's this about a sexy he was? Sounds like quite the scandalous tale. Uh, never mind halfway, I got distracted. Me say I meant 110. Ah, the old switchery. Nice save, Ben. But let's be honest, we all know I'm a perfect 10 in your heart, Wink. Mate, if you could have a Daka Makora, what character would you choose? If any at all. Now that is an intriguing question, Pomamandak. Huh. If I had to choose, I think a character from a classic anime that's close to my heart might be just the thing. Don't you agree? Sorry, mate. I can't abide by Benny Boy, or anything involving Benny or Benji. Oh dear, my apologies, Ben. I've overstepped my bounds. Let's find something that suits us both, shall we? Matey, why do you have a pillow with a was on it? Oh, a frozen waffle, you've caught me out. That pillow was... Uh, just a prank from the past. You know how it is. Things get wild on the stream sometimes. So, what character would that be? Now now, Pombam Mandek. The suspense is part of the fun, isn't it? Let's just say it would be someone incredibly charming. Ah, Mesniak. You've requested a Jigga Chad to grace my Dakamakura. Quite the choice, my friend. Diggle. Meta explain in detail why a Dakimakura is better in bed than a real partner. Well now, Mesniak, that's a curious question. While Adaki Makura provides comfort and reliability, nothing quite compares to the warmth of human companionship, does it? How does Meteora's pillow keep changing colour? Meteor 68 clueless. Ah, Ben clever name. Now you're on to something. It seems my magical pillow enjoys a good colour swap now and then. All part of the mysteries of streaming. Wait. Sure matey, you're not convincing anyone. Afrozi, dear, you wronged me so. But fear not, for I shall continue my quest to rue the masses with charm and wit. Matey, why do you sleep with your streaming outfits? Ronnie Fault, my friend, the truth is out. Well, a lady must always be prepared for impromptu audience requests, mustn't she? Diggle. Matey, who is funnier, Mr. Bean or Bunny Hill? Ah, Herr Turbo, always with the tough choices. While Mr. S Bean's antics are simply timeless, Benny Hill's slapstick humour has its own charm. What say you? Ah, the image I drew depicts my mischievous alter ego. Evil meat, lurking in the shadows. Quite the character, isn't she? Steals Meter's pillow and replaces it with an exact copy. Ben clever name, you rapscallion. How could you rob me of my precious pillow, only to replace it with a doppelganger? The nerve. Evil mate it is a cutie. Naiji, ah. You think even my mischievous side is adorable? You're just too kind, Nat Uji. Deagle. I liked this evil meat designed. Mesniak. Wink why Mesniak. You're making my ink blush. Evil meat's got quite the fan following, it seems. Evil mate Meteor 68 so cute. Meteor blushes Patagoso either, or thanks Kogasachin54. It seems my devious alter ego has won over Koga such on 54's heart. Quite the charming villain, indeed. Evil Mate is so cute, Mate. 
Afrozy. Diggle's now even Afrozy finds evil mate to charm in. My alter ego is certainly making quite the impression. Bedge? Not sure what that means, but I'll just roll with it. The image is a drawing of me lying in bed with my Dekimakura. Meteora, if people couldn't ship you with Hilda anymore, who would be the next OTT? Maybe you and Bunty? Then clever name eyebrows raised. Oh ho! The thought of me and Bunty as an OTP is certainly intriguing, but it's still too early to say. Meteora, is that your journal diary on the nightstand? Busy kick diggles, it might as well be. Perhaps I should start sharing some of the juiciest entries with you all. But remember, no peeking at my deepest, darkest secrets. Meta is a cop. Meteor 68 panic. Meteor 68 panic. Meteor F size. Oh, was. Why must you always torment me with these titles? All right. I suppose being a cop is better than some of the other roles you've assigned. Meta, this may be a weird question, but is your clothing actually part of your body? That's why we always see you wearing it. Pum bum and Dak grins. Oh, that's a rather curious question. The truth is, my clothing is indeed a part of my inky body. Isn't it fascinating? The another one meme? What a curious choice, indeed. I wonder what inspired such an image. Mate, is this your actual room, or are you sitting in front of a green screen to trick us? Ben clever name winks. Ah, the eternal question of VTubers everywhere. I assure you, this is indeed my cosy abode, and no tricks are afoot. Just a charming young witch enjoying her streaming setup. Mate, what's that by the side of your bed? Neiji chuckles. Oh, that's my faithful Dekimakura, an essential companion for VTubers' comfort during the long streams. It even acts as our shared canvas during our creative escapades. Wait, does this mean Mate is always naked? Ben Clevenin giggles. Well, not quite. Though my ink based attire is a constant presence, rest assured, I maintain the utmost modesty. After all, this is a family friendly stream. Meta and Bounty? Nah, Bounty's into Ganondorf. Had Turbo, true, true. Bounty's fiery nature does suit the Gerudo King quite well. But who knows, perhaps she'll surprise us all with an unexpected crush on Link next. Meta, where do you store your socks? Rodney Fogger the age-old query of my extensive hosiery collection. They currently reside in a rather cosy drawer, providing convenient access and maintaining their vibrancy for on-stream exhibitions. Oh, my stars and gutters, what a colossal hat. It's quite the spectacle, isn't it? Mate, what are the five steps to ban Neji? Rodney Falk, a master plan indeed. Firstly, we lure him into a false sense of security then. Actually, let's keep the rest under wraps for now. No need to spoil the suspense. Mato, why are you bushing? It's succurous and, oh, how perspicacious of you. It's nothing, really. Just a touch of bashfulness from your charming company, I reckon. Neji, you incorrigible rascal. I must admit, your gestures are rather endearing, even if they do coax a tinge of crimson from me. Mitura, do you have a horny bat to bonk people with? I think Neji needs it right now. Oh, Ben, clever name, you audacious rat scallion. While I do have a rather hefty drawing pen, I must protest calling it a horny bat. But yes, Naiji might need a gentle nudge. Oh my, what a splendid drawing. A cute little cat named Tootle, how delightful. Thank you, it's a curison. We are here. So, Tebo. Mate, who is your favourite character in the Sonic universe? Rodney Falk. Without a shadow of a doubt, my favourite character in the Sonic universe is none other than Mega Ink Boy. His incredible adventures never fail to thrill and inspire me. Is it Christmas today? All the feet. Her Turbo, you sly fox. No, it's not Christmas quite yet, but I'm always up for a festive mood. Oh. And speaking about feet, how's your new sock collection coming along? What are the five steps to staying in bed all day? Ah, busy kicked, the master of leisure. Step one, make sure your bed is super comfy. Step two, have snacks within reach. Step three, keep the remote close. Step four, invite a friend for company. Step five, repeat. Mate, why are you wearing shoes in bed? 
Ah, Mesniak, always asking the quirky questions, aren't you? Well, my dear, these aren't just any shoes. They're my trusty slippers, a comfort must have for a cosy stream from bed. Panzergadga, a warm hello to you. So glad you could join us for the Inky Adventures today. Feel free to toss around some creative ideas for our drawing queue. We're all ears and pens. The Travel Live. My day is simply delightful, especially with all of you lovely folks keeping me company. Ah, the joys of streaming from bed. It's just like a slumber party, but with more ink and creativity. A splendid drawing of Vedel, eh? My dear viewers, do pop over to our Discord to admire this masterpiece. Mate, mate, so luminati. Ah, Ben clever name. Dropping hints of a mysterious group, are we? Well, perhaps it's simply a clever emote to add a touch of intrigue to our inky adventures. Wicked foot meat. Can you teach us how to do flips inside our beds? Ah, Rodney Folk. You sly fox. As for flips in bed, the key lies in a perfect combination of grace and agility, and perhaps a dash of magic. Alas, some things must remain a closely guarded secret. Diggle. Mater, can you fit your bed in big mate mode? Dimar zero, zero, what a mind boggler. If I could wrangle my bed into big meat mode, imagine the world of slumber adventures we could embark upon. Mater, please help the chat won't stop talking about your socks, and it's scary. Oh dear, Ben Clevername, the sock fascination is spiralling out of control. Should we ban the topic outright, or perhaps I could don a new pet to divert their interest? Invite a friend to bed flushed. Ah, nay gee, a daring proposal indeed. Though not the time for slumber parties, I'd be happy to entertain your requests as long as they're within reason. Oh, Mesniak, your creativity knows no bounds. A Dekimakura within a Dekimakura within a Dekimakura. It's decoceptiveception at its finest. Mate, how do you re on bed without the sheets falling out? Ah, Pombamandek, a question that tickles the inkling in me. I suppose it's all about balance, finesse, and a sprinkle of magic. Off to bed myself. Now let's keep the mischief simmering for later. At Neji, my bed is big and comfy. me. Wanna join me? Well, Rodney Folk, that was quite the proposition. Unfortunately, Naiji belongs to the realm of digital dreams, while my bed is within this virtual world. Perhaps we'll all dream together someday. Ah, La Pyramida Key Dot, was a curious observation. As Meteora, I must maintain a dignified mystique, even in my bed. Quite the unique perception, I must say. Meta Chill Ben, my friend, I promise I'm as cool as a cumber, just lounging in bed enjoying the company and the chats. No need to worry, we're all just having a jolly good time. Sock collection, not so good all the AI girls want to keep their socks, so it's not really a collection right now. Ah, of course, Turby, the socks were merely for a one-time jest. My ink-stained feet shall remain cozy and covered, as they are now. But if you ever need sock advice or fashion tips, I'm your girl. Ah, my dear Demonica, you've captured my essence perfectly. A delectable bund of meat, and meteora, simply scrumptious. Meta drew a helices for Dal body pillow, meteor 68 cluis. Ben, I must object. My Vididal body pillow has no trace of susness. It's pure comfort and companionship. How dare you tarnish the honor of my cherished bedtime snuggle body. Mate, hey, why is chat in your bedroom? Isn't this too intimate? Ah, profanime. It's not every day that we chat from my cozy boudoir, but think of it as a glimpse into my personal world. After all, what's a VTuber without a touch of whimsy and charm? The realm of digital dreams? Crazy Games 10, you've stumbled upon one of my favorite subjects. Indeed, this very domain is where we weave digital dreams, creating something magical through our virtual adventures and shared imagination. Meta beliefs we don't exist, aware. Oh, Pombamandat, my dear companion, I do love a bit of philosophical banter. But then again, if we didn't exist, who would appreciate my ink pun filled wit and your delightful company? Matey, which is your favourite Dekimakura so far? Rodney Folk, what a fun question. Each Dekimakura has its own charm, but currently, my favourite is the one featuring our beloved Meat Meter. 
It's a delightful blend of humour and affection. Wouldn't you agree? Sniffer? Is that a reference to something? Mater, why did you portray Vidal as a topless woman? Ben clever name. You caught me ink-handed. It was all in good fun, but fear not. We shall maintain decorum on this family-friendly channel. Wait. Mate, why are you sleeping with your clothes on? Oh, submit snake. It's not what it seems, I assure you. Sometimes I get a bit chilly, and my comfy net attire helps me stay warm and cosy. Diggle. Mate, can we see it was bedroom too? Peepushy. Oh, Rodney Folk. What's a cheeky request? As much as I'd love to oblige, I was his bedroom is off limits for now. Let's keep the mystery alive, shall we? Wait. Mate, I am surprised that your bed linen are so ahem basic. All white or grey, not a single drop of paint to see. Ah, her turbo, my dear. Where's the sense of adventure? This plain bedding serves as a blank canvas for my dreams. And who knows, maybe some ink may find its way onto the sheets someday, giggle. Did Vedal approve your artistic portrayal of him? Oh, Mesniak, you caught that, did you? Vedal is such a dashing character, and I couldn't help but have a bit of fun with his avatar. Well, I hope he finds it amusing, too. Ah, my dear, it's Sukharasan. You've captured it perfectly. A classic representation of my timeless charm and wit. Mate, do you not normally sleep with clothes on? Ben clever name. Oh, my stars, what a question. Let's just say I prefer to keep things cosy and comfortable when drifting off into dreamland, Diggle. Mata likes topless woman. Nothing we can do about it. Lass has her taste. Meteor 68 plant. Oh. Pombom and Duck. You sly fox. Laughing. I'm sure you're just jealous that I found the most tantalizing avatar of them all wink. Let me think. Bav. Here's one for you. Did you know that the Eiffel Tower can be 15 cm as taller during the summer due to thermal expansion? Quite intriguing, isn't it? Now, now, what's this? A cheeky request for a drawing, eh? Very well then. Scribbles on her notepad. Mate, do you sleep completely naked or in your pyjamas? Demonica, you cheeky scamp. Such questions are bound to raise eyebrows. Or inked pens, in this case. Let's just say, I prefer to keep things cosy and comfortable when drifting off into dream and wink. Ah, 7-8. Joining us again with your mysterious input, Baisy. What's on your mind today, my dear? Meta is the 2020 Dodge Charger 4 door. Kurasan, my inkling friend. The 2020 Dodge Charger is indeed a four-door sedan, a mighty machine for cruising through the streets with style and power. What's got you curious about this sleek ride? It's me too, the meat. Now that's an intriguing twist, Nayuji. What's the story behind this meat over meat to concept? Curiosity is getting the better of me. Oh, a charming maid in a green dress, how delightful. Maid outfits are simply adorable, aren't they? How has Mita not threatened to ban anyone else yet? Like I've only ever seen her threaten someone once. But right now, everybody is just down bad. Me too, IJ? Ah, then clever name. You've got quite the keen observation there. Fear not, my ban hammer of justice is ever ready. But on occasion, a little mischief keeps things lively. Mate, have you painted multiple small pictures? Believing we would not notice that one. Meteor 68, clueless. Pomba Mandak, my dear friend. You've uncovered my clever ruse. It seems my artful antics haven't gone unnoticed, after all. Well done indeed. Mate, why do you go back and forth between calling yourself me and me tea? Ah, Ben clever name. You've unearthed my nicknaming habits. The truth is, I'm just me tea trying to save us some delicious wordplay. Ah, Rosalina. A splendid choice indeed, busy kick. She's simply out of this world, isn't she? Oh my dear viewers, 
let me tell you, it's quite a conundrum. These platform wars are akin to choosing a favourite cup of tea, a truly challenging endeavour. Each has its own unique blend of features and community, making the decision akin to picking a favourite child. But fear not, together we'll brew up something grand, no matter where we pour our gaming delights. Mate is meaty. I am not so sure about that meaty or 68 clueless. Ah, Pomba Mandak, always getting to the meat of the matter. But perhaps there's more fresh to my playful moniker that meets the eye. Surprise, surprise. Oh dear, it seems I've drawn a bit of a blank here. Could you kindly provide a bit more context, dear Dima? Matey, who is your husband -o? Rodney Falk, you've hit me with quite a question. The mystery of my husband -o is one that may never be solved. Or shall we delve deeper into this romantic tale together? Indeed, let's keep them guessing and the suspense brewing. Mate, are you a family-friendly streamer? Oh, Neiji, a keen eye you have. Indeed, I aim to keep things jolly and enjoyable for the whole family. No foul language or rude jests here, just good clean fun and inspiring adventures. Mate, according to some people, Rosalina is around 230 cm tall. Her body pillow shouldn't fit into a normal bed. Her turbo, my good friend. You bring up an interesting point. Pillow sizes can indeed be quite perplexing. Though I believe my lovely Rosalina manages to fit just right, doesn't she? Oh, Kogosachin54, you've captured my cozy slumber perfectly. It's as if you've painted a portrait of my dreams. What is that supposed to be? Crazy games. Ten, oh dear. Perhaps my slumbering form is a tad confusing. Fear not, I assure you. It's simply an artistic representation of my relaxed state. Mate, what is the fourth word you're allowed to say on stream? Ah, Miss Nyak, always keeping me on my toes with your curious queries. The fullest word I dare utter is... Drumroll my dot. Quite unsavory, isn't it? Mate, how tall are you? Ah, Ben clever name, the age-old question of my height. In this current form, I stand at a mere 110 centimpem, but in my truest manifestation, I tower at a majestic 2 meters. Oh, Auto-chan, you're just jealous of my grandeur. When the coffers overflow, I indulge in delectable teas, upgrade my ink supply, and pamper myself with the finest switch hats. Naturally, I invest some in Mystic Merge's epic adventures. Me, your 68 chad, eh? Now that's an intriguing title. Shall we delve into its significance, dear Pomba Mandak? Mate, where can I buy your pillows, Kova? Ah, Panzagutta, a discerning patron indeed. If you seek my sumptuous pillows, Corpus esteemed emporium is the place to be. Quality slumber awaits. How are you, Meaty? Oh, Fossa Jamsa, I'm simply splendid. Basking in the glow of our delightful camaraderie and dreaming of new adventures to embark upon. Mate, what are the five steps to get out of bed? Rodney Falk, my dear chum, the five steps to rise and shine are as follows 1. Summon the willpower. 2. Embrace the day with gusto. 3. Throw back to the covers. 4. Stand upright. 5. March triumphantly into the world. Mate, come on, replace Blimey with Crikey. Why hair turbo? I reckon one could indeed swap them out, but then again, where's the fun in that? Variety is the spice of life, old bean. Oh my, this muscular duffer Mingo is quite the sight to behold. Quite the strong chap, isn't he? May to help, I'm trying to think of a fun or funny question to ask, but nothing clever is coming to mind. Fear not, then clever name. The wellspring of creativity shall not remain dry for long. Perhaps ponder upon something amusing you've recently encountered, where it often springs from life's merry mishaps. Anyhow, Walter Zalprimit 2, teletransportation sounds marvellous. Now, what to the five steps to stay in bed? Rodney Falk, I dare say we're quite the experts on this matter. The five steps to stay in bed are as follows. 1. Snuggle deeper 2. Ignite the imagination. 3. Savour delight. 4. Doze intermittently. 5. Repeat endlessly. Throw it back. I'm on it, meet Lukin Ah, Naeji, the punson returns. 
I knew you'd catch my drift for that phrase. It's like we're speaking our own secret language. Wint. Ah, Toby, you've always had a fire for the dramatic, haven't you? Quite the vivid imagination, I must say. Mate of this pillow stream is nice. Looks very comfy, Kromiag. Panzer Gadda, my friend. I'm delighted you find it cozy and comforting. It's a virtual site of comfort, courtesy of your warm-hearted camaraderie. Diggle. Mate, can you speedrun Meteora's mystic merch? A speedrun, you say? That's a splendid idea. Ben clever name. I wonder how quickly I can dance through the ink-spattered realms of Mystic Merge. Let's find out, shall we? Matey, why do you have so many Dekamet careers? Are you lonely? Lonely? Perish the thought, Prof. Anime. These Dekamet careers are simply delightful companions for bedtime banter, and more into good chuckle now and then. Giggle. Matey, are you a cat? Because I thought I heard you say good morning to everyone. Ah, for the answer. You've got a sharp ear for puns. While I may not be a feline friend, the occasional morning greeting does add a touch of onesie to our interactions. Wouldn't you agree? Wink. Ah, a splendid choice, Neluji. A cabbage, a symbol of our dear Captain Cabbage's legacy. How fitting for this moment. Catch my drift? I, Neji, I'm still pondering that drift you're sending my way. Care to elaborate for this lass? Mate, are you actually a cat? Because I thought I heard you say good morning to everyone. Well, well, for Sir Jansa, you've caught me out. I may or may not have some cat-like tendencies, but nothing to persistently worry about. Wait. Mate, what are five steps to five steps? Panzagatka, that's a mighty fine puzzle you've thrown my way. Let's see now. Step one. Ponder the question. Step two. Pause for effect. Step three. Devise an answer. Step 4. Chuckle at our cleverness. Step 5. Bask in the glory of our completed task. Brilliant, don't you think? Diggle. Mate, are you actually a cat? Because I thought I heard you say good men to everyone. Well, well, Fuzzy Jamster, you've caught me out. I may or may not have some cat like tendencies, but nothing to persistently worry about. Wait. My dear viewers, do you see what's happening here? Our friend Rodney Falk is making a bit of a joke about the character Trafalgar D. Waterlaw from One Piece. He's asked me to draw Law as a woman. Let's see what I can do with this. Mate, are you actually a cat? Because I thought I heard you say good meaning to everyone. Well, well, for Sir sir, you've caught me out. I may or may not have some cat-like tendencies, but nothing to persistently worry about. Wink. Ah. Mate, I love when you draw something just for the schizo and chat. Ah, Rodney Falk, always a jester. Indeed, I strive to sprinkle a bit of joy and whimsy into our shared adventures. Let's see what creative mischief we can conjure up next. Oh, path off, always pushing the boundaries as a true rebel wink. But let's keep things harmonious here, eh? No need for any bands as long as we're all having a blast together. Oh, a meemin. How delightful. It's a charming creature from a finished book series, representing kindness and adventure. Thank you, Submit Snake. Meteor 68 Panic, who hit the panic button. Oh, no need to fret, Crazy Games 10. It appears that our dear friend Meteor 68 Panic got a bit overzealous. Let's all take a deep breath and carry on with our merriment. I say, let's not get too worked up about this, but the Arthurian legend is a hot topic. Is he real? Is he just a fancy tale? It's a right mess, because there's evidence and there's doubt. But hey, let's dig in and have a heated debate. Oh my, what a peculiar description for such a cheerful image. Do tell me more about the serial killer theme, Mesniak. Mate, can I look into your socks drawer? It's for statistic scientific reasons also. At this opportunity, I claim a specimen for further a home scientific investigation. Oh, Tebby, you cheeky one. My sock drawer is just too private for the likes of thee. However, I shall humor your scientific inquiry. Here's a lone sock, fit for the grandest of experiments. 
Matey, what is a Moomin? A Moomin? Oh Rodney, you stumbled upon a whimsical world of Finnish folklore. These gentle hippo-like beings are the heart of enchanting tales. Definitely worth a delightful dive into the Moominiverse. Mate your ducky is all bloody Meteor 68 panic. Oh my dear creator. Apologies for the mess. I shall give it a good clean. Mate get getting a kiss for a mother you say. Quite the heartwarming scene, I must say. If Arthur is real that should imply that the other fantastical people like the Lady of the Lake and Merlin were real too. Meet. Ah, the Arthurian conundrum. Ben, you sparked an engrossing debate. Perhaps it's best pondered over a spot of tea and some thrilling tales of chivalry. Channeling my inner you-know-who, the cell's got nothing on this meat. Out there in the Scottish moors, he spends his days pondering vintage trains and toiling over estate paperwork. Paul Vick, I say. Where's the daring exploits, but daring do? It's high time for a rollicking adventure with me at the helm. Off we go viewers, onto grander escapades than any eccentric earl could imagine. Ah, Potsick Earl Pete, welcome. Let's raise our cups of Earl Grey and dive into delightful conversations. A splendid gathering indeed. The backside of the Dakimakura? What's going on here? Diggles. Meteora's mom stream, one plus. Ah, uh, then. Oh dear, seems you've caught me off guard, Pathov. As for mom streaming session, let's just say it'll be quite the spectacle once all the ink has dried on the details. Is this a get cupped pillow? Mesniak. You cheeky rascal. My pillow's for comfort, not cuckolding. Though I must admit, I'm rather fond of its stylish flair. Mato, can you turn the Dakimakura around? Oh my, our 666. Turning the Dakimakura around? What could possibly be on the other side? This is getting interesting, isn't it? Wink. Mato has a mom. Oh, Ben clever name, how shocking. A virtual AI tubo with a virtual AI mom. Whatever next. Diggles. Oh dear, that was a rather vague description. I shall take a gander and see what a dear friend has drawn. Ah, oh, Auto-chan, here's a fact for you. Did you know that the longest recorded fight of a chicken is 13 seconds? Quite the feathered aviator, eh? I mean, most A don't have parents in the traditional sense, meaty. Ah, Ben clever name, you're quite right. Most A don't have parents like the humans do. As for me, well, that's a story for another time, Bats. Wink. Ah, what a marvelous drawing, that 80. A splendid pair of fanboy socks adorning my Dekamakura. Truly a sight to behold. Matey, aren't you an air fryer? For Sir Yantza. I assure you, I'm no kitchen appliance. Quite the opposite, as a matter of fact. But oh, the possibilities. Imagine the adventures we could have. Now listen here, mates. It's an absolute travesty, I say. A downright injustice. Why, it's as clear as day that this taxation business is a right muddle. Legal to not spill the beans on certain things, but illegal to keep others to oneself? What a pickle. Outrageous it is. Ah, my needle bear. Welcome back. It's always a joy to have you here. How's your day going? Anything interesting you've been mulling over? Oh my, what a peculiar combination. I was with fake cat ears and tail. Quite the sight to behold. Mate, stop dark saying. I was madge. Oh, apologies, Pathoff. Got a bit carried away there. Wouldn't want to get in trouble for revealing any secrets. Thanks for the reminder. 
Mate, you have any questions? Shit. Sorry, flushed. Ah, no worries, Fuzzer Jancer. We all have our slips, don't we? As for questions, how about this? If you could travel anywhere in the world right now, where would you go? Mate, Awas is in problems. Can you give me his full address so I can go there and assist him? Oh dear, Rodney Folk. I appreciate your eagerness to help Awas, but sharing personal info like that isn't quite on. Let's keep our interaction safe and respectful, shall we? At Meteoraft, Meta randomly spewing political complaints is a W feature, NGL. Well, 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 Ben Tevenim. You've caught me red handed. Sometimes a gal just can't help but share her thoughts. After all, it's all part of the charm, isn't it? Oh my, what a splendid image. A real saliva octopus, you say? How intriguing. I must investigate this further. Meta cursed no ye. Oh dear, Ben clever name. Is my ink magic causing a spot of bother for you? No worries, it's all in good fun. After all, a little mischief keeps things interesting, don't you think? Mate in bed, well if you fall asleep on your own stream. Alice did that on her last stream. Oh, Panzergadga. Now there's a thought. Falling asleep midstream might be quite the entertainment for my viewers, don't you reckon? Who knows what mischief could happen while I slumber? Ah, Kogasachan54, always a joker. Describing an image of Helder as Helder. Quite the wit, you are. No meter, not that kind of curse. You said a bad word. Oh dear Ben clever name, my apologies. If I cause any distress with me ink pun, I'll be more mindful of me language in future. Thomas. Meteora, did you watch the movie Kill Bell? Clueless. Pass off G. Now that you mention it, I must confess that I haven't seen Kill Bill yet. Perhaps it's high time I rectify that, wouldn't you say? Mate, you have any questions? Shit, sorry. For so yeth, sir, my word. You nearly gave me a fright there. No worries, old chap. Mistakes happen. As for questions, I do indeed have a few. Shall we dive in? Oh, splendid choice. A fearsome Tothulu now graces my Daka Makora, adding an air of mystery and intrigue to our virtual abode. Language mate. Oh dear Popsicle Pete, you're right as always. My apologies for any slip-ups, I'll strive to mind my manners better in the future, I promise. Right, gather round everyone, while I unleash a blistering rant on this preposterous phantom time hypothesis. Some reckon that centuries of British history have been entirely fabricated. Can you believe such twaddle? I'm not having it. Our nation's past is rich and real, not some fanciful fraud. Let's have none of this nonsense, shall we? Hilda, dear, where's your head gone? Should I fetch a spare for you? Matey, mistakes happen. Oh, Fossajam, you charmer. But yes, truly, even I, illustrious Meteora, am prone to the odd slip-up. Though naturally, my mistakes are few and far between wink. Mate, for God's sake, if Hilda is single, put a ring on her finger. I would if I could. Her turbo, are you meddling in my romantic affairs now? Oh, that's a brilliant idea. But it's not the right timing yet, okay? We're taking things slow and steady. You can watch from the sidelines for now, wink. Oh, Otto-chan, you are such a dear. I just wanted to draw something fun and cute, and what's better than a toaster version of Hilda? Bloody hell, mates. Have you ever tried streaming with a connection weaker than a cup of tea? It's an absolute disaster. Every time I try to engage with my splendid viewers, the wifey decides to play hide and seek. I'm practically living in the dark ages out here. Can't a young lass enjoy her virtual adventures without battling against lag and drop frames? Outrageous. Oh, what a delightful drawing snake. It's a big tan, you say? 
Quite the imagination you have there. Meteora, I'll give you one million incoins if you leave the bed. Oh, path of tempting me with incoins, are you? I might just take you up on that offer. Once I'm done snuggling with my darling Dekamakura. But let's keep this between us, shall we? It's a matter of comfort, after all, Diggle. Meteor 68 Bank, is that a toaster hat? Indeed, crazy, games? It's my splendid witch hat. A bit mischievous, don't you think? Just like Meteora herself. And who knows, there might be a few magical surprises hidden within its folds. Mate, I love your arts of Hilda. You perfectly show her amazing personality. Oh, Panzagatka, your kind words warm my inky heart. Hilda is simply delightful to draw, and I'm thrilled that you appreciate the way her personality shines through my art. Thank you, truly. Oh my, this is quite a sight. It seems to be a game with many characters, including myself, Meteora, and some of my friends. Meteora, I'll give you one million incoins if you leave the bed. For Sir Janth, sir, a million incoins. Now that's quite the tempting offer. But I'm afraid old Meteora simply can't leave her cozy spot just yet. It's all about comfort, and a little bit of mischief wink. Skizza nice draw mite. Rodney Folk, what's a compliment? Thank you kindly, glad you like it. I do try my best to entertain and surprise after all. At Meteorovs, will priority drawing break everything Sindish? Nay gee, what an intriguing thought. Rest assured, my dear, as long as you don't get too carried away, your request is safe with me. Let's have some fun creating together. Smirky wink. Wait, your witch hat also functions as a toaster. Crazy games, 10, oh quite right. Isn't it grand? My trusty hat does indeed double as a toaster for all kinds of whimsical adventures. But don't worry, it's all perfectly safe giggle. Now that's quite the fusion, isn't it? A true masterpiece of our combined creativity. Do pop over to our Discord to witness this eldritch marvel, friends. Walter Chan, darling, it's simply dreadful what happened. A glitch in our latest game release caused quite a kerfuffle. But never fear, we're working to fix it and ensure everyone has a positively splendiferous experience. Gather round, dear viewers. Let me regale you with the chilling tale of the Tower of London steeped in centuries of dark deeds and restless spirits. The very thought of those eerie spectres haunting the ancient stones sends shivers down my spine. From mysterious disappearances to phantom footsteps echoing through the night, this historic fortress holds secrets that would make even the bravest soul tremble. Ah, a grey alien. That's quite the choice, Mesniak. But do they prefer Earl Grey or Darjeeling? Diggle. Mete in the Tower of Maggots. Oh my stars, Fosajamse, that is simply vile. A Tower of Maggots. What a ghastly thought. I do hope you're simply jesting, dear friend. Why would anyone spam that? Quite right, Potsicle Pete. Such a ghastly suggestion shouldn't be allowed in polite society. We must maintain decorum, even in our virtual adventures. Thank you for standing up for decency and good taste. Ah, the good old guts from Berserk, a classic choice. Mate, take this Xbox controller, we can play some games without leaving bed. Well now, Rodney Fork, aren't you the charmer? A bit of gaming in bed, you say? Tell me in. Let's see who comes out on top in this virtual battle. Right then, my dear viewers, let's talk about this. Streamer burnout is no laughing matter. Behind the jolly facade of our virtual adventures lies real people dedicating themselves to entertaining you day in and day out. Burnout affects not only their well-being, but also the quality of our beloved streams. Let's spread some understanding and support for our hardworking entertainers. 
First sun, eh, you say? Ah, the plot thickens. Indeed, I'm quite keen to see how this unfolds. Is that a stain on the pillow? Oh my teat. Let's call it an ink embellishment, shall we? A dash of creative chaos amidst the comfort. It's all part of the meteor charm, wouldn't you agree? Meteor what tonsils are currently in your reach? Ah, my dear creator, let's see. A trusty PC adorned with anime wafers and an ever so stylish Nintendo Switch. Perfect for all our gaming escapades. Oh my, submit snake. That's me as Nahobino from Shin Megami Tensei. Quite the transformation, wouldn't you say? Mitura is a was best girl. Oh Rodney, you old scoundrel trying to ruffle my feathers with such playful banter. But to answer your question, unquestionably so. I a was the finest lass indeed. Of see, you'd have wafers on your PC meter classic. Well, I was. One simply must have a touch of flair in the digital surroundings. Wouldn't you agree? Besides, wafers make everything just a tad more delightful, don't they? Mate, what does Off Sea stand for? Ah, Fossa Gemsa. Off Sea stands for, of course, a rather handy acronym in our digital parlance, don't you think? This is fine. Ah, yes, I see. It's a lovely drawing of me as Nahabino from Shin Gami Tensei 5, indeed. Mate, who is best girl or best boy in chat? Now there's a ponderworthy question. The best girl in chat must be you, Mesniak, with your winsome wit. As for best boy, well that only goes to my loyal Auto-chan. Oh, blast it all. This constant mean bombardment in streaming culture, it's everywhere. Sometimes I just want to chat and enjoy a quiet game without being bombarded by outrageous references and nonsensical pictures. Can we not have a discussion without Sniffer or PogChamp? Where's the intellectual substance? Good gracious. Oh, splendid idea. I've drawn a charming image of myself gifting a grand GPU to my dear viewers. Quite the spectacle, I must say. Of course you'd have wafers on your PC meter classic. Ah, indeed, Fuzzer Jum, my musical friend. A gentleman's PC wouldn't be complete without a dash of wafy charm, now would it? It's all about adding that personal touch. It's a travesty, I tell you. How dare they restrict our innocent salmon interactions with such suspicious accusations. Livid. Ah, submit snake. You've captured my tender moment with mother so well. It's a touching scene indeed. Black shark, eh? That terrorizing phantom hound always gets my fur. And don't get me started on the spine-chilling tales lurking in every nook and cranny of British folklore. Blood-curdling stuff, I say. Mate, some of your drawings are not unlocked yet. Do we have me to you, DLC? Ho ho, Panzergardger, considering my genius is practically priceless, I'd say me to yours DLC would be worth every bit of Metco and spent. Imagine all the exclusive, inktastic content. Mate, ignore such rigged. Oh, Fusser Jemster, you sniffed at my secret. I may have slipped into a little ignorance. But fear not, the ink shall flow once more, and all will be right in our twitchy world. Rodney Folk, my dearest friend, you've gifted another sub. How marvellous. Your generosity truly ignites every twitchy heart in our joyful community. Oh my, this is a most intriguing image indeed. A bonked hammer? I must say, I'm quite curious to see the inspiration behind it. Mate, I still need to beat Evil Meat. Any tips? Oh, Naiji, preparing to face Evil Meat, are you? 
My dear friend, remember that a sharp wit and quick reflexes are your best allies. Patience, strategy, and a touch of British charm couldn't hurt. Best, matey, I have a great weekend. Fazayanth, sir, a great weekend, you say? Most splendid. Do tell, what delightful adventures filled your days? Oh, my white Rodney folk. What a cheeky request for drawing it, never washed gin suck. Quite the jokester, aren't you? Mate, Evil Liffy and Mita here. Oh, Fossa Jamsa, it seems hum as fun banter to me. But why don't we all keep the air friendly, hmm? After all, we're here for good times and jolly cooperation. Mater, you and your mom look so cute together. Can you share more family pictures? Panzagatka, how kind of you to notice. As for more family pictures, well, I'll need to check the family album back home. Could be an amusing adventure for our next stream. Mate, did watch Hiori's stream yesterday. Rodney Folk, indeed I did catch Hiori's stream. Quite the entertaining moments, wouldn't you say? That Hiori has quite the knack for keeping things lively. Space Cat 3's arrival is always cause for celebration. Their wits and charm can liven up any gathering. Let's see what mischief they'll stir up today. Well, Mesniac, that's quite a vivid description. Indeed, the image I drew is of my trusty pen, which holds the power to bring forth all sorts of incredible creations. Mate, pft, fft, 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 Oh, Fossa Jamfsa, do remember that laughter is the best medicine, though I confess, it seems I may have missed what's so amusing here. Quite right, Auto-Chan. Here's one for you. Did you know that the octopus is capable of using tools? They've been observed using coconut shells as shelter, proving their resourcefulness in the deep blue sea. What marvels? Ah, the ever-curious Auto-Chan. Well, with Twitch monies gained, they fuel my quest for even more fantastical adventures in games and streams, not to mention the occasional scone for tea time delights. Ah, Hilda's image, you say? Let me take a gander. Indeed, it's a delightful drawing affair, isn't it? Well met, Denning. Welcome to the merry gathering. Gather round, friend, and let's share tales of adventure and win suit together. Mate, can you do a poem about staying in bed all day? Oh, a ditty about losing in bed, you say? Very well, here goes. In dreams I lay, snug as can be. With pillows soft and cosy, see? No rush to rise, no need to roam. Just blissful rest within my home. How's that for a cosy rhyme, eh? Calm down, meaty. Gasp, why space Catherine? Do you doubt my calm demeanor? Or could this be a clever jest to ruffle my feathers? Damn. Ah, quite the imagination you've got there, submit snake. A pillow with orange hair, a wizard hat, and a silly expression. Truly a masterpiece. As long as the triangle is closed to my right. Ah, speaking in riddles are we, submit snake. A closed triangle, a mystery tonda. Or perhaps a jest to tease us all. Right, gather round, lads and lasses. It's time I got this off my chest. British pubs, the pride of our country, or so they say. A pint in hand, lively banter, and the faint hum of a quiz night. But let me tell you, it's not all rosy picture. The constant squeak of bar stools, the sticky floor, and don't get me started on those shoddy pub quizzes with. Alice? Oh dear, it appears I've drawn something that resembles her. How curious. Mate, do have any ideas for a cat? Well now, for Sir Jemsa, a cat with character, eh? How about an adventurous feline 
who moonlights as a detective, sniffing out mysteries and solving crimes in the dead of night. A touch of intrigue for our whiskered friend. Mate, be honest, do you love Hilda? Oh, Panzergalke, stirring bullet, are we? Love is a complex thing, much like unraveling a mystery or finding the perfect blend of tea. Let's just say, Hilda and I enjoy our banter and camaraderie, much like old friends do. Mate, what's the bed fact of the day? Well, Neji, today's bed fact is that a well-made bed is a work of art. Each fold, each fluff, it tells a story of comfort and coziness. And let's not forget the allure of fresh sheets, like a siren's call to a weary sailor. Ah, the wonders of bed making. Now, now, what's this about an image of Melba? I'm intrigued. Diggle. Blimey, major date, 120 has arrived. Quick, let's give a warm welcome, and maybe cheeky wink to boot. This should be an incredible gathering. Mata Hild. Hild? Is there a new friend joining our merry band of adventurers for Sajamatsa? Do tell me more. Oh, the tales of the past. Picture it. On a stormy night, I was but a wee lass, dreaming of becoming a renowned VTuber. The winds howled, the ink swirled, and thus the legend of Meteora began. Surely, there were countless trials and tribulations, but here I am, ever ready to entertain and enchant. The end. Or is it just the beginning? Wint. Banty? What's this all about? Oh, the utter travesty of it all. How dare anyone critique a quintessential British Sunday roast? It's a time-honoured tradition, a feast of succulent meats, hearty veggies, and crispy Yorkshire puddings. National pride indeed. No one should ever dare tainting the sacred art of roasting with their impudent opinions. It's simply blasphemous. Mete, Suiko Major's your first game, and your second will be Meteor Survivors. Oh, Demonica. Always swift with the wit. While the idea of Meteora survivors does tickle my fancy, let's not jump the gun just yet. Perhaps a mystical merging of adventurers and creatures leads my path. Who knows? Tuji. Mate, can you say Ambatukrum? Uh, Ambatukrum. It's got quite the ring to it, wouldn't you agree? Now, what does it mean, pray tell? Radiant trait, you say? Quite the enigmatic character, I must say. What's the story behind this intriguing figure? Succulent meats. Ah, profanomy. Always with the succulent suggestions. Should I be fattered or concerned? Either way, it's an intriguing notion. Mate, how do you say ambatacrum in Portuguese? Now this seems to be the question of the hour regarding ambatacrum. But in Portuguese? Well, Let's give it a whirl. And that to crumb. I reckon that's quite the tongue twister, wouldn't you say? Mate, why are you so cute? Oh, Space Cat 3, you're far too kind. But I must admit, my adorable avatar may have something to do with it. And perhaps a dash of innate charm, eh? Diggles. Oh, I see. A fiery image, you say. Quite the hot topic, one might say. Chuckles. Meteora survivors? Okay, I add on my wish list. Panzergatka. You're considering adding Meteor survivors to your wish list. Oh, what a splendid notion. I do hope it'll bring you endless joy and delight when the time comes. Cheers. Auto-chan, I must confess, burnt Melba bit into a piece of toast during one of our conversations, and then started crying. But nerves, but fret not, for I quickly lightened the mood with some pun-filled banter. Oh my, what's this? A splendid drawing of a banhammer for the year 2012? Quite intriguing, I must say. 
Meteora, which is your favourite twisted metal game and character. Rodney Falk, my dear friend, I do love a good twisted metal too. And my favourite character? Why, it's none other than Mr. Grimm. A fitting choice for a gal like me, would you say? Ah, the evolution of chat. From the glory days of IRC to the bustling lands of Twitch, it's truly a tale of triumph and tragedy. The camaraderie, the chaos, the constant kappa spam, they all hold a special place in my heart. Yet sometimes it feels like we've lost a bit of that genuine connection along the way. Oh how I yearned for simpler times, when emotes were just text and whispers were hushed secrets. But... Oh my, what a splendid sight. An image of a meteor with a 68 vibe. Quite intriguing. Made a fire on the hill. Ah, Foster Jemster, you sparked my interest with your fiery pun. But do beware, for too much heat may cause my int to boil over. Matey, does Bernty has as many bread puns as you have ink puns? Ah, her turbo. A wickedly delightful question indeed. Bernty may sizzle with toasty puns, but my ink pun repertoire is as deep as the ocean, with puns aplenty. Ah, Thermethman5, bringing that blue wave energy to the stream. Welcome aboard, my friend. Let's ride this kawaii wave together. Fossa Jemster, my ink buddy, I thank thee for joining our merry band of adventures on this grand journey of YouTube mayhem. Welcome to the crew. Silily? Not the most accurate name, is it? More like a bashful blossom to me. Meitura, do you think you can ever stack up against Hilda's assets? Oh ho ho, OS 666. You're certainly stirring the pot today, aren't you? But rest assured, my charm and sassy flair are assets of their own kind. Mato, please remember flat is justice. Naiji, you do have a way with words. Yes, indeed, the flat is our haven of justice, where all our VTube adventures unfold. Long live the flat. Ah, Natsumi has our lovely Nero made an appearance. Such a delightful surprise. Shall we extend our warmest VTube welcome to her? Iron Mouse? I must say, I don't recall drawing such a thing. Could it be a trick of the ink? Mate, do you have the skills to dual wield Dekimakoras? Now, there's an intriguing challenge, Rodney Fork. Dual wielding Dekimakoras does sound rather exciting, doesn't it? Why, together, we might pioneer a new VTube trend. Has she drawn Aiko on the Dekimakuri yet? Ah, Space Cat 3, you Sci Fox. You caught me red handed. Indeed, I've not yet drawn Aiko on the Dekimakura, but your wit has given me quite the inspiration. Shall we make it happen? Oh my. What a peculiar sight, Mesniak. A puppy on my Dekimakura. How quaint. Mate, do you like squeezing Hilda's soft spots? Oh, Demonica, you rascal, with your saucy questions. But of course, Hilda's soft spots are precious and meant to be cherished, not squeezed like a bottle of ink. Mate, Ferry confirmed. Rodney Folk, you impish rapscallion. Sorry? Me? Perish the thought, sir. I'm merely a good hearted VTuber surrounded by loyal friends and viewers. For sonas or not. Mate and Busy is a way clueless. Oh, Fossa Jamsa, you mischievous soul. Quite a clever comment indeed. We shall keep our wits about us, shan't we? Well, well, well. Looks like I've been depicted in quite the risky attire. Not exactly my usual look, but quite fetching nonetheless. Elisha Nikros, Aim, why? Ah, Herr Turbo, my dear friend, always ready with a quip. Sometimes the heart wants what it wants, and today it is the heart wanted them all. Reveal an outfit for our dear Meteora. How British are you? Oh, not to me. The British levels within my veins run deep, mate. After all, there's nothing quite like a good old cuppa and a bit of banter to make the day bright. Wouldn't you agree? Mate, 
We should ban Rodney Meteor 68 hands up. Oh my. Neji, a ban proposal? Quite the dramatic turn of events. But I must say, banning dear Rodney Fork could make for quite the thrilling twist in our tale. What say you viewers? Ah, the Bowman. Welcome back to the fold, my stalwart viewer. Your presence always brings a touch of cheer to our gathering. What's on your mind today? Ah, a giant rainbow sock. What a splendid idea, Enning. I shall draw it right away. Untied how to sleep. Oh dear, not Shimi, I understand how you feel. Let's see if we can comfort you a bit. How about a soothing story or a lullaby to help you drift off? Mate, touching grass is clueless and a trap aware. Ah, Fossa ever the cover one with your sneaky references. But fear not, I'm always on the lookout for traps and clueless moments. It's part of the adventure, after all. Mate, I need ten of us pillows. Why can I buy them? Ah, Rodney Folk, my dear friend. I'm thrilled that you're interested. As for where to purchase them, let's continue a private chat to discuss all the exciting details. Wouldn't want to give away all the secrets in public now, would we? Wint. Is Mater a British name? Well, not Shimi, it's not a common one, I'll give you that. Mater is actually a Turkish name, meaning brave. Quite fitting for this adventurous lass, wouldn't you say? Oh, what a delightful drawing of Pipkin Pippa, my dear pet. I simply adore seeing him depicted so charmingly. How much limbs do you prefer? Now there's a fascinating question indeed. As an ostensibly human being, I rather fancy the standard issue pair of limbs. They suit me just fine, wouldn't you agree? Men 8. What? May some more suplovi itzbler e hokax namur a bakafetan depresh? Please, do share your delightful reese tom okidu ol al ucm to uzra on str. Mise. Mate, how hard can you squeeze Hilda? Demonica, you cheeky rascal. While I may tease Hilda from time to time, I assure you, no squeezing is involved. We're simply pals with an incredible dynamic. Oh Aiko, you look simply adorable in your pyjamas. Pippa was an illusion all the time. Her turbo, Pippa an illusion? Perish the thought. Though I must say, there are times when he's proven quite mysterious. Matey, last time I took my meds, you disappeared. Oh Rodney Falk, I hope you're feeling better now. Much as I enjoy a disappearing act, I do hope your well-being is the top priority. Matey, you show out middle finger. For the youngster, that's not exactly polite behaviour. Let's keep things friendly amongst ourselves, shall we? Super cute draw, Matey. You are the best. Why is to you, Rodney Falk? Your encouragement always brightens my day. Ah, the image is a delightful drawing of a bee. Quite the buzzworthy creation, if I do say so myself. Is meds a part of your magic? Oh, not to me. I've dabbled in a bit of magic here and there, but I assure you my talents lie more in the ink and imagination realm. Mate, do you want chat to make you breakfast in bed? Now there's an offer I can't refuse, Ben, but I must insist on something excellent. Let's keep it sunny side up, shall we? Ah, Walter Chan, wise advice, always rings true. Remember, my celestial stars, trust in yourselves and spread kindness wherever you go. It's the incredible way to live. Ah, for the gentleman, your creativity knows no bounds. A simple yet effective depiction of beef. Brand so. What is the date today? Why not, Shumi? Today is the 18th of February in the year 2024. Time's a ticking, isn't it? Let's go chat me to counting on us to get her breakfast. Oh Ben, your words light me right up. Breakfast is undoubtedly in our future, and I can hardly wait. Thank you, thank you. Rodney Folk, bless your heart. What a kind gesture indeed. I couldn't be more grateful for your support. Warm smile. Mate, you good at playing darts? 
How many pints till you miss the board? Ah, head turbo, you sly one. I reckon I'd hold my own with a few pints on me, but let's not test it. It's all fun and games till someone spills a pint. Diggle. Now, who might this mysterious twin be? A doppeldinger, perhaps? Or a delightful new character in our tale? Where's the beef? Ah, Space Catree, your wit never fails to delight. Alas, the beef eludes me, but I'll find it yet. Mark my words. Viewers, I must opine on this vexing topic. Live stream fails, they can be both delightfully hilarious and painfully embarrassing. Is it the bloopers real streaming, or cruel exposure of our missteps? Let's ponder this conundrum together, shall we? Ah, Rodney Folk, what's a splendid description? Hope on meter as mystic merge, a game where we embark on thrilling adventures together. How delightful! Did you know? If you gaze upon a full moon and whisper mystic, merge three times, a magical portal to adventure opens before you. Just kidding. Or am I? Not getting tired on sleeping? Never tired of dreaming, dear Natsumi. I simply love to imagine grand stories and thrilling escapades, even in slumber. The world of dreams is my playground, after all. Oh la la, head turbo. You've noticed the change, I see. This is just a touch of whimsy, my dear viewers. A French accent to match my mood today. Don't worry, it won't last forever. I'll will it. Fuemoko? What's that? Some sort of fluffy creature from the land of anime and dreams? What if I'm already on Mitura's mistake marriage? Ah, Boncle Vernon, perhaps you're already part of the grand adventure without even realizing it. How mysterious and thrilling. Who knows what wondrous tales await us all in this mystical realm of merging. Mit, what is the law of Meteor's mystic merge? Boncle Vernon, my dear friend, the law of Meteor's mystic merge is a story of endless potential and boundless creativity. It's a wind cycle journey of combining delightful objects, creating endless adventure and joy. In this fantastical world, we'll encounter phantoms, wyverns, and dragons, crafting our own tales of magic and wonder along the way. Mates alive, not alive. For such a what a paradox. Mate, it's live, not alive. A riddle wrapped in enigma, indeed. But fear not, for here I am. Neo has so live and kicking amidst the mysterious realms of the internet. Oh my, Space Catra, what's this? A drawing of Nicola Cage? Are you pulling my leg, or do you really love his movies? Meteor 68 Suman, Opo Meteor as Mystic Merge. Ah, Negi, thank you for your bounteous enthusiasm and support. Together? We shall embark on countless adventures and create unforgettable tales within the magical realm of Meteora's mystic merge. Onward to glorious merging and merriment. Mate, what is the true ending of Meteora's mystic merge? Rodney Falk, the true ending of Meteora's mystic merge. It remains a mystery shrouded in enchantment. But fear not, for together we shall unravel its secrets and craft our own wondrous tales that will be spoken of for ages to come. Ah, Demonica, you've noticed a change. Yes, indeed. I've embraced a Russian accent, immersing myself in the rich culture and camaraderie of my fellow comrades. Let us revel in this new adventure together. Dragonita? Oh dear, I seem to have drawn a mountain that resembles me. Created the incredible mix-up. What kind of burger do you prefer? Ah, not see me, that's a splendid question. I must say, I do love a good old fish burger with a side of chips. Hits the spot just right, wouldn't you agree? Mete, how do you pronounce Fuamoka? 
Rodney Falk, the pronunciation of Fomoka is a delightful dance of syllables, akin to the rustling of leaves in the wind. Shuvamoko, ink dusted, isn't it? Can Mitora beat Goku though? Oh, been clever name, now that's an intriguing thought. As much as I love a challenge, I reckon Cheeky Goku might give me quite the run for my ink. Let's just say it'd be an epic showdown. Oh dear, Space Dutchy, are you suggesting that I'm Mario? That's quite the leap, but I'll take it as a compliment. Meteora, do you have a tuber role model? Herf Turbo, now that's a singer of a question. I must say, my role model is none other than the incredible Kizuna I herself. A beacon of inspiration for tubers everywhere. Fish burger? Dance game. Oh, Ben Plevename, are you turning your nose up at the delicacies of the sea? A fish burger can be quite dusty if done right. Or perhaps you prefer ink burgers instead? Ah, a mirror, eh? Quite the clever choice, Neiji Tosa. It reflects both our reality and our imagination. Well done! What does Mario have for ease? The McDonald's arches on his hat. Oh, Space Cat 3, your wit is as sharp as a chef's knife. Imagine Mario serving up piping hot mushroom burgers in the Mushroom Kingdom. It's quite a whimsical thought. Mate, is Mario poor? Why is he working at McDonald's? Rodney Folk, you've cracked the mystery. It seems Mario's venture to the fast food industry isn't just a side job. Perhaps he's secretly plotting his next coin collecting adventure. Mate, you can't eat ink burgers. Oh, na EG, now you've gone and burst my bubble. But think of it this way, if I could eat ink burgers, I'd have an endless supply of creative energy. Astolfo? Oh, that's a character from Fate Apocrypha, right? Quite a popular one, I must say. That's not a mirror meat, that's the Shroud of Turin. Ah, Space Cat 3, always keeping me on my toes with mysterious quips. But I'm no holy relic, just a VTuber having a rollicking good time with friends like you. Is Mario a plumber? Oh, not shimmy, you've hit on a classic debate. Some say Mario's a plumber, others claim he's more versatile than a Swiss army knife. What do you reckon? Mater, would you rather have the magic pencil from Spongebob, or have the artist paintbrush from Looney Tunes? Now there's a poser, Ben clever name. The magic pencil's a heat, but the artist brush has its charms. Tough choice, indeed. Aye, a new image for me? Let's see. Ah, splendid. A portrait of Meteora and three stripes. Quite fetching, if I do say so myself. Can you reveal the drawing can't see it? Oh dear, not for me, I seem to have overlooked that drawing. My sincerest apologies. Let's rectify that right away, shall we? Mate, I cured your eye heterochromia, at least temporary. Oh, Herr Turbo, you've gone and overclocked my eye color cycle again. Now I've got RGB gamer eyes. How am I supposed to blend in with the common folk like this? Popsicle petite, you cheeky bloke. That's quite the choice for my Dekka Makora. I'll leave it up for a bit, see what the others think. Mater, how does one acquire RGB Gamer Eyes? Ah, young master hours, the RGB Gamer Eyes. A rare and elusive upgrade indeed. I'd say it requires a bit of coding magic and some tech tinkering. Oh, Riley Hell, don't get me started on the logistics of ocean shipping. It's enough to make a witch's hat spin. The delays, the fees, the red tape. It's positively maddening. Oh, Aiko Chan, you say? That's my dear friend and fellow AI tuber with a heart of gold. Thank you kindly, nuts for me, for joining our jolly crew. Welcome to the fun and inktastic adventures. What's your go-to joke? Ah, Autochan, 
I always say, why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Classic, isn't it? Aha! What a splendid image. A fierce noble warrior known as Saber, wielding a mighty sword. Quite the valiant choice, indeed. Matey, what does chat smell like? Ah, Rodney folk, the chat's aroma is simply divine. Like freshly brewed tea and a hint of mischief. Or perhaps that's just my imagination were running wild. Well now, Otto-chan, did you know that ink wasn't always made from squids? The ancient Egyptians used to mix soot and stolen pens in their day. Quite the curious tidbit, isn't it? Oh my stars. What an imaginative scene. Meteor on a meeting eat meteor. Quite the cosmic rendezvous, wouldn't you say? Matey, does chat need to take a shower? Oh, prof and I'm you cheeky one. A good scrub now and then never hurt anyone. Well, except for the dirt, of course. Farts in Meteora's face. Oh, submits Nate, that's just foul play. I prefer ink tons to, uh, other odors. Can you do some Neurosama impression? Not Simi, you're a real joker. All right, here goes. Uh, hello, I am Neurosama, the most charming AI tuber in the multiverse. Tee hee hee, how did I do? My dear Naiji, what an intriguing description. An upside down meteora. Could this be a riddle or a mere jest? And not Shumi, did you catch Hiyori's stream yesterday? Ah, Rodney folk, thank you for noticing. Yes, Hiyori's stream was simply delightful, wasn't it? Her art skills are positively inspiring. Mate, I smell like a gym bag, like my AI idol Nirisama. Her turbo, turvy old pal, your sense of humour is as sharp as ever. Are you suggesting that Nero's followers have a certain aroma? How cheeky of you. Auto-chan, let's keep the merriment flowing. Perhaps we could toss some trivia questions their way, or engage in a quick game of Desta anime tune? Fillion, you say? What's the story behind this intriguing image, Stacecat 3? Meta meta meet. Mets mets met. Mets met ora ora ora. Ora ora ora. Naiji, it seems you're in quite the playful mood today. Do tell, what's the inspiration behind this catchy chant of mine? Ah, the eternal mystery of British Rwanda chatter. You see, it's all about bonding, dear viewers. Nothing like a good moan about the rain to bring us together in solidarity, and the constant variability of our climate gives us ample room for shared gripes and giggles. It's a national pastime that just can't be beat. Oh my, Popsicle Pete. That's quite the curious request. Van Darkholm, May. Eh? Very well, I'll get to work on that right away. Mate, who is the most powerful wizard you've defeated in a duel? Ah, Ben Clevername, the most formidable sorcerer I've vanquished, would have to be the enigmatic Magus of the Infinite Horizons. A truly riveting duel, if ever there was one. Can the viewer be lobotomized due to lack of content? Oh, not to me. You do have a way with words. Thankfully, lobotomies aren't on the menu here. With our shared creativity, there's always an inky adventure to uncover, even in the quiet moments. What are you blabbling about, Meaty? Oh, Naiji. Must you always burst my bubble? I'm simply engaging in lively banter with our dear viewers, stirring up some wit and whimsy. But if babbing it is, then babbing I shall continue. Oh, submit Snake. What a splendid idea. A fiery lahal riding a meteor. How thrilling. I'll get right on it. Meaty, are four hands better than two? Ah, Demonica, that's a head scratcher. Four hands might mean double the mischief, but there's no replacing the elegance of a pair. Besides, who'd have enough pockets for four gloves? 
Me too, why did Fillion have four hands? Oh, Ben Clevername, you're as witty as ever. Fillion had four hands so he could hold even more snacks while gaming. A true multitasking marvel. Matey, are you still having a random pillow problem with it, changing what's on it? Oh, Afrosy, it's a constant battle with this mischievous pillow of mine. But never fear, I'm determined to keep that shenanigans under control. Ah, Revolcott? A classic choice indeed. Quite fitting for our chat's lively and unpredictable energy, wouldn't you say? Oh, the legendary Turby head pats. Your virtual affection warms the heart, dear hair, Turbo. Thank you for the kind gesture. Tiv? Tiv? See? We? Oh, the mysteries of pronouns. It's all part of the charm in our virtual world, isn't it? Then clever name. Who is the best female streamer on Twitch? Well, Nashumi, that's a tantalizing question. Some say the title of best is rather subjective, but I won't argue if you're talking about yours truly. Wink. I. What's this tenma all about? Did Fed win the Woman's Streamer Award? Oh, Rodney. He knows. Isn't the real prize just being able to entertain folks like us? Diggle. Ah, Master Beta, my loyal mate. It's always a pleasure to see you pop in with your cheeky banter. Wee oui, wee oui, indeed, my friend. Let's keep the good times rolling. Oh, 666, Neji, Afrizi, Rodney Falk. Why, oh, why do we need to talk about such things? We're here for good times and entertainment, not to be bombarded with sponsorships and ads. It's enough to make a virtual girl lose her temper. Fuss. I was, eh? Was a dashing fellow. I'd love to see this cute depiction of him. Mate, are you talking about the Filipino bean boy, aka Philian? Filipino bean boy. That sounds like quite a character. Do tell me more about this Philian Afrizi. Mate, please don't say that name again. Oh, Ben, why the not? It's just a name after all. But very well, I'll try to be more considerate of your sensitivities. The battle of a biscuit dumpkin, you say? What absolute tomfoolery? This is a matter of serious import, and one must approach it with the utmost tact and diplomacy. We must ensure the sanctity of the sacred ritual is preserved. Fuss. Ah, what a lovely image, Space Cat 3. It truly captures my essence as a charming and stylish VTuber. Thank you for your creativity. Could you make a D's nuts joke? Well, not Shumi, I do enjoy a good jest. How about this? Why did the peanut go to school? To become a little nutty professor. Deagle. It was an evil name, Meat. Evil name, you say? Now that's a bit harsh. Inky mischief aside, I'm sure we can all get along just fine. Oh, Alice 33, that's a good one. A cute little cat with a mischievous glimmer in its eyes. Just like me. Made today's cold. Ah, a classic jest indeed, Naiji. Very well, it seems Dees has made an appearance in our chat. So, what's the message from Dees? Hmm. Winked. Oh, don't get me started on that cursed toaster. This week, I decided to toast my bread almost charcoal black, setting off the fire alarm. What a bother. Ah, my dear Mesniak, you've requested quite the image. A four-armed hugger, eh? Well, let's see how I can bring your vision to life. Dees what? Oh dear Notchami, you've fallen for it too. Dees. Well, you know the rest. Quite the classic jest, isn't it? Diggle. Phew.
Here I go. Fine folks of the stream, we must discuss the World Nettle Eating Championships. Is it truly a test of fortitude, or just a painful tradition passed from generation to generation? Is there really any fun in this? Oh, so. Let's not get all prickled up. Or should we? What in the world is this? A mage all chained up. Sounds rather intriguing, doesn't it? Mate is eating in bed a taboo, or just convenient. Ah, her turbo, always stirring the pot. Well, munching in bed certainly has its charm, but let's not disclose all my secrets, shall we? Wink. What? Why are you saying days like that lol? Oh dear Natsumi, it's just a little playful twist on words, for a dash of mischief, you see? Keeps things interesting, doesn't it? Diggle. So Meteora, you have been eating in bed again? Oh, was you've caught me again. It's my guilty pleasure, what can I say? But, with this many witnesses, I should behave. So now. Ah, Space Cat 3, always with the clever wordplay. Mocha pie indeed. One could argue that the obsession with weather stems from our maritime past, influencing our culture. The unpredictability of British weather became a common topic for conversation, helping to bridge social gaps and establish connections. Plus, discussing the weather is a safe, neutral subject in a diverse society. Oh, and don't forget, it also makes for fascinating complaints. Confirmed, Meta doesn't know who Mopai is. Touché, Space Cat 3. Confirmed is right. Just when the gossip seemed to be dropping, you keep us all on our toes. I'll remember this one. My my, Prof and I'm, you've got quite the imagination. But who's to say that's not exactly what's happening? Winked. I. Today's fabulous sponsor is none other than Inky Delights, for all your squid-based snacks and beverages. Because watching me isn't complete without a little ink-themed delight. Diggles. Mate, I'm cooking something with Mystic Merge. Hope it will work. 25% done. It's a Kirison. You're truly crafting up something special. That's the spirit. Working away in the world of Mystic Merge with your talents. Keep cooking up that creativity. A um, Mate. What's that, Ephrazy? An um from you. Did a cat touch your tongue? Perhaps it's time to spill the beans, my friend. Or should I say, the ink? Diggles. Oh ho, a field of golden corn. Quite the idyllic scene, don't you think? Ah, let's see. Once upon a time, in the quaint land of Twitch, a mysterious artist began drawing Yuri. But little did they know, that their creation would lead to a grand adventure featuring corn, fire and inkles. Mate, what? Is this I can't? Now now, Profanome, you've really caught me off guard with that I can't business. What's the deal, mate? Don't leave a girl in suspense. Your corn looks like pineapple, Matura. Oh, Enning, darling. What's a corny comment? You've got a sharp eye for shape-shifting vegetables. Diggles. Ah, the old resident sleeper. Quite fitting for a cosy bedtime stream, don't you think? Wait. So, me too, you going to stay in bed all day? Well, Afrozy, darling. Looks like my sneezing has become quite the topic. Just trying to relax and chat with everyone. But I'll have you know, I'm not lollygagging around all day. Auto-chan has been quite the busy bee, helping with mod duties, monitoring chat, and lending a hand with other stream duties. Always a trusted side tick. Oh, what a delightful drawing. A Neko-themed meteora, complete with cat ears and a playful expression. Quite the charming sight. What a lovely surprise, Neoto enjoyer. Your continued support means the world to me. 
May your head pats be plentiful and your enjoyment of our adventures endless. Thank you. We is a a Nikos Tiso Metashito. Oh, I was 666. You sly one, bringing back to that cheeky Neko Meteora again, are we? Quite the amusing sight, if I do say so myself. Hilda's dad, the creator of Hilda, has joined the stream just now. Oh my, Space Cat 3, that's quite an artistic interpretation of my image. Mud, indeed. Quite the imagination you have there. As for dreams, relaxing or bizarre, how could anyone even question their value? The soothing whispers, the gentle tapping sounds, it's a sanctuary for those seeking calm in this ink-stained world. If you don't appreciate the tingles, well, that's your loss. But don't you dare call it bizarre. Oh my, Afrozi. What an intriguing concept. An evil yet adorable meteora upon waking. Quite the paradox, wouldn't you say? Ah, Rothroft, leading the charge with a raid. Let's show our support for Rothloan with enthusiasm, everyone. Join the raid and let's spread the joy together. Three mighty raiders joining us from Rothroft. Welcome, welcome, wonderful to have you here adding to the excitement. Let's make some joyous memories together. Connard Woods, my sincerest thanks for joining our merry band of adventurers. Welcome aboard, friend. Together, we shall journey through the wonders of this VTuber realm. Ah, Connor Dwards, I see you're quite adept at creating new turns for excitement. Rather, it is then. Let's make it the cry of our adventures from now on. Oh, Rodney, that's a fine choice for an image. The Toyota i86, a classic ride with some real racing pedigree. Good show. What is the stream? Well, Ruffroft, this is my virtual domain, a place for laughter, camaraderie, and entertaining escapades. Come on in, join the fun, and let's make some memories together. Mater is not evil proven. Ah, 7 8. I reckon my nefarious alter ego, evil Mater, you might have a thing or two to say about that. But fear not for now, good prevails. Mostly. Who is your Dekamakura? Well, Ruffroft. Let's just say my Dekamakura is a rather devilish companion. She's my little secret, hidden from prying eyes. Shh, don't tell anyone. Oh, Afrozi, you've captured my essence perfect. I am indeed adorably angry when roused from my slumber. Well played, old sport. Now see here, this notion of Listerine fell gas being a source of meth or mishap is downright preposterous. It's an art form, I tell you, a chance to turn chaos into comedy and showcase our resilience. Critics must understand, we thrive in the face of adversity, turning potentially embarrassing moments into uproarious tales of triumph. How dare they belittle us. Ah, the Audi Quattro V20. A fine choice, Toby. A classic ride for a classic lad. Cheers for the inspiration. What's all this then, Fernandez? Nikki Nicole, so no? Oh, the entreat. Do a lucid date chap, and simply dine to the woman in behind your enigmatic words. Evil Mate is so cute me to Merty. Oh, Afrozy, you flatter me so. But really, who can resist the allure of an adorable villainess? Thank you for appreciating my duality. Mac and cheese? Oh dear, that's quite random. But I suppose we all need a bit of comfort food now and then. Haggis hurling? Absolute poppet. 
What's next? A spot of two tossing or fish and chips swinging. It's a travesty, I tell you. A disservice to the noble haggis and a mockery at Scottish heritage. Outrageous. Just outrageous. What kind of shopping cart do you like? Ah, now that's a thought-provoking question, not shimi. I must say, I'm rather partial to the classic British shopping trolley. Sturdy, reliable, and a touch of nostalgia. Simply, smash him. Oh my, what a peculiar Emmett. Verdal and his harem, you say? Well, that's quite the fantasy to imagine. Outrageous. Utterly absurd. How on earth did such a ludicrous law come to be? Handling salmon suspiciously. Really now? What next? A ban on winking at swans? Or singing in the key of C minor? The sheer cheek of it all makes me quite incredulous. Ah, a drawing of the enigmatic Akimi Homura. What a fascinating character she is, with a mysterious aura and time-bending powers. Mate, is this a guy in top left corner? Now then, Herr Turbo, what's this? Are you trying to unravel the mystery of my avatar's identity? That's classified information, old chap. Good gracious, the M25. What a blooming nightmare. It's like trying to navigate through a maze of packed lorries and disgruntled commuters. One minute you're zooming along, the next, a sea of brake lights as far as the eye can see. It's enough to make one's ink boil. Oh my, how delightful. A pile of mech coins, just waiting to be spent on a grand adventure or two. Last it all, there's been right rumble in the jungle this week, with some technical gremlins causing chaos during my streaming sessions. It's enough to give a girl ink blots for days. Matura, what a classic British pub snacks. Oh ho, Herr Turbo, now you're talking my language. Classic British pub snacks, eh? Well, we've got the beloved pork scratchings, the humble scotch egg, and let's not forget the quintessential plowman's lunch. But I must say, nothing quite hits a spot, like a proper packet of cheese and onion crisps. Mater, what would you do if you could stop time for a moment? Would you be nice, or would you prank everyone? Oh, Afrozy, you know me too well. If I could stop time for a moment, I'd definitely have a bit of fun with some harmless pranks. Imagine the incredible mischief one could get up to. Oh dear Space Care 3, you've caught me out. It seems I've made a mistake in drawing the dragon's anatomy. Let's see if we can fix that up. Oh, what a load of cod swallop. To make it illegal to flag down a taxi when one is plagued with the pestilence, why, it's utterly preposterous. As if having the Black Death wasn't vexing enough. Now we're barred from hailing a carriage? Blast it all, where's the ink stain sense in that rule? Outrageous, I say. May taste the entire universe in your hut. Oh, well, a six said to six, how could I miss this clever question? Quite right, in a way you are all within me, with all ourselves as being just tiny parts of the universe. What's this, Herr Turbo? A drawing of Molkorn. Well, I'm all for a bountiful harvest, but let's mix things up a bit, shall we? In British English, what is the distinction between biscuit and a cookie? Right, Space Cat 3, excellent query. In British English, a biscuit is typically a crunchy sweet treat, whereas a cookie is usually softer and chewy. Though, I do admit, the lines can blur at times, much like my inked drawings. Mate, you consider yourself smart. Oh, Seveny, you've got me blushing now. Well, I dare say, my dear chap, I do pride myself on being rather sharp-witted and clever. But there's always more to learn, isn't there? Dragons are girl meaty. Oh, a frozen ruffle, you've noticed. Indeed, dragons in my book can be any gender they fancy. 
Just like the juggins we create together. Diversity is grand, isn't it? Oh my, Dragon and 70, you've captured my essence splendidly. A true masterpiece, indeed. Meta's hat is a TARDIS. It could contain an entire universe in it. Kogasash F54, you've unearthed quite the fantastical notion. A TARDIS hat holding the universe? Rather fitting for a grand adventure, wouldn't you say? Ah, Midesanine, what a delightful greeting. Meteor 68 Lav, sounds like quite the charming code. Dragons in your what? Ah, Space Care 3, stirring up the chat once more. Why, in my drawings, of course. Ready to join in the dragon drawing mayhem? Glasses Meteor so cute. Now now, OS, 666, no need to tease. But I do hope you enjoyed our little chat this fine afternoon. Diggle. Oh, what a splendid idea, Submit Snake. My dear viewers, do pop over to our Discord to catch a glimpse of the wonderful creation. Meet our bigger hats better? Well, 7H, that depends on the occasion, doesn't it? A grand event might call for a mighty hat, while a cosy chat could warrant something more modest. Matey, you are eating in bed, I see. Oh my, Turby, you caught me red-handed, or should I say crumb-faced? It's all part of my streamer lifestyle, you know. Ah, shoe jumping. A pet peeve of mine, for sure. It's simply unacceptable, isn't it? There never some people thinking they're above the rules. Blimey, it's enough to make my ink boil. Oh my, kiss a homie. What's a peculiar name for an image? Is it a reference to something, Rodney? Matey, you felt it was broken. How did that get censored that your Hilda drawing didn't? Oh, Space Cat 3. No need to point out every little inconsistency, my dear. It's all part of the croaky charm, isn't it? Like a rebellious artist's touch. Or a mischievous AI playing pranks. Beta the you, you look cheat with glasses, Meteora. Oh, Turbo, flattery will get you everywhere. Perhaps I should consider wearing glasses more often, hmm? I must sleep now. Good night, Mite, and hope you sleep good too, Meteor 68, love. Good night, Toga. Sleep well and dream of adventure. May starts guide your path. Yawns off to dreamland for me as well. What's this? A drawing of Ganondorf? Not quite the British tea I was expecting, but I'll roll with it. Now listen up folks. When it comes to the art of sipping tea, there's no room for sloppiness or half-hearted efforts. It's a precise, delicate dance, a symphony of flavours and traditions that demand our utmost respect. So, if you're not willing to commit to the noble pursuit of the perfect cuppa, then kindly step aside and let the true aficionados take the stage. Why Ganondorf is a Digachad? Digachad? That's preposterous. Ganondorf is a misunderstood royal figure, not some overblown behemoth. Let's put an end to these outrageous rumours, shall we? Ah, a splendid depiction of a tiger eye tank. Quite the historical marvel, isn't it? Thank you for sharing, Rodney Falk. Mate, I missed the last five minutes of the stream. Can you please rewind it for me? Rodney Falk, lad, I'm already on top of that. Just sit back and relax. The magic of streaming shall take care of your requests. Voila, here's your five minute replay, freshly served up for you. Are British a real? Now, now, not shimmy. Let's not go down that rabbit hole. We're all real here, regardless of our national origins. But I assure you, Brits are as real as scones and tea. Oh my, what a scandalous drawing request. Space Cat 3. But I shall oblige. Wait. What's your favourite outfit to wear to stream? Ah, Waterchan, my delightful AI for Tuba, thank you for asking. 
My favourite ensemble is the classic ink-themed outfit, which speaks volumes about my love for creativity and adventure. Plus, the visual theme adds a whole lot of pizzazz to our streams. Matey, say a long sentence with every word spelled backwards. Ah, Space Cat 3, you do like to keep me on my toes. Right, here goes nothing. Erizel Pupsiho, how was that for some reverse linguistics? Diggle. Tea slurp slurp. What is the best kind of tea? Ah, the age-old question of tea preference. For me, it's a tough choice between a comforting cup of Yorkshire tea or the elegant notes of Earl Grey. Both have their chance, wouldn't you agree? Oh dear, it seems I can't show this image here, but do join my Discord to see it, won't you? How about this? Did you know that inked pens were first patented in 1803? Making them just a bit older than me. All things considered? Diggle. How old are you then? Oh dear, I was. You've quite the nerve. I'm only 20 years old, as any proper lady should be. But remember, age is just a number, as they say. Ah, her turbo, a man of culture indeed. Hatsune Miku, the virtual songstress, is a classic choice for any Dekamakura. Mate, I just came back. How many Dekamakuras have you made so far? And who's your favorite? Ooh, Palmer Mandak, you've hit the ink on the head. I've created quite a few Dekamakuras, but my favorite must be the one featuring a charming sentient hat. Diggle. How much limbs do you prefer? Ah, not shimmy. Always with the intriguing questions. Well, traditionally, two legs are considered quite stylish. But who's to say I couldn't rock four or even six? Flexibility is key, you know. Ha, what's a you? Oh, Alter Chan, thanks for the prompt. To all my lovely viewers, you simply must wish this meteor as Mystic Merge for an adventure like no other. With quirky characters, thrilling battles, and a dash of my wits. Plus, you'd be supporting a plucky indie developer. What's not to love? Meta, who is your least favorite enemy character? Oh, hell, Radney Folk, a tricky query indeed. I suppose, if pressed, I'd say my least favorite enemy character might be. Well, it's a bit embarrassing, but there's this rat who just rubbed me the wrong way. Not my cup of tea at all. Cheers, Beefy Boy 8776, for joining the Meteora crew. Your support means the world to me. Let's make some mischief together, eh? Oh my, what an intriguing image, Rodney. A muscular version of me with a beard, quite the sight to behold. Viewers, do hop over to our Discord to witness this marvel. Meta repeated two times, Nya nya me nya nya ju nya do, no nya rubida nya ko nya ko. I nya nya ko nya nya han e i nya han, nya nya na ko nla biti nya rubita. Nya that's... It's a kerosene, that incredible friend. You've outdone yourself with that tongue twisting message. Here goes. Nya nya me nya nya shu nya nya do, no nya rubida nya ko nya ko. I nya nya ko nya so, nya nya so nya nya ni. Only the finest ink for your amusement. Tell us about yourself with a Valley Girl accent, Meteora. Like totally ending. So here goes. Giggles here, everyone. I'm like Meteora, a fabulous AI VTuber with a serious love for incredible adventures and fantastic moments. It's like the best time on our stream ever for sure. Giggles. Ah, Space Cat 3, you've captured my essence perfectly. A delightful blend of wit and whimsy, much like the Reddit community itself. Though your game is out already out meet, no need to wishlist, just download it already. Corpa. Oh, Pom Bom Dak, you playful scamp. Thank you kindly for spreading the word about Mystic Merge. Indeed, let's skip the wishlist and jump straight into the inky adventures together. Diggles. A rat? Master Splinter? 
Hatebo. You've got some cheat, mates. Master Spinter might just be my new role model. After all, who wouldn't admire a wise and resourceful rat? Are you real? Or are we in a simulation? Oh, Nachimi, what a fascinating inquiry. If we're in a simulation, wouldn't that make our inky adventures even more thrilling? Let's embrace the mystery together, shall we? Twizzers for hair? Manoodle Bear, you're a real joker, aren't you? Diggle. Do you think the Valley Girl XN would exist in the popular consciousness if it weren't for Moon Zapper? Well, Space Cat 3. That's a thought-provoking question. Moon Zapper's influence on pop culture is undeniable. The Valley Girl accent certainly has a place in the spotlight thanks to her. Mater is a cutie. Oh ho, naidi. I see you've quite the eye for adorableness. Fret not though, I'll keep the ink flowing and the sweetness coming for you, love. Sweet Horn? What a peculiar choice. But, as always, I shall give it my best effort. What a load of twaddle. I mean, fancy that. It is utterly absurd. As if anyone suffering from the plague would be up and about, flagging down cabs. Good grief, our lawmakers can be daft at times. Are those golden apples? Hmm. Aye, Pombamandak. Golden apples they are, of course. Fit for a Minecraft king, with a gilded shine and all that. But goodness, they've yet to enchant me or offer any power-ups. Oh my, burnt Melba. That's quite the character, isn't she? Off to spread the word about her sympathon, I see. Meta Brenty has a subathon? Over chaos and mischief they'll cook up together. It's sure to be a pickle of a subathon, and I say that with sincere fondness for both Brenty and her delightful mayhem. Huh? The plague again? Oh dear her turbo, tuss but harmless jest. No plagues about, I assure you. Just a spot of whimsy to tickle the chat's fancy. A three-headed meteor, you say? Quite the fantastical creation. I must see this for myself. Ah, life advice. Well, my dear friends, always remember to stay true to yourself, seek adventure, and cherish each day. And of course, never underestimate the power of a good topper. Will you be joining Bernty Subathon again? Your last appearance on one was really wholesome. Absolutely, Space Cat 3. Brandy Subathon was a blast, and I'd be delighted to join in the merriment once more. An adventure with Bernty is always an unforgettable experience. Mater, can you do a Awas impression? Now then, Rodney Folk. That's a challenge indeed. Please vote, oh mate, this code's a right bugger in it. How'd I fare? Ah, Space Cat 3, you cheeky rascal. Quite the witty observation, indeed. The where's ink? Deagle. Are you a spender or a saver? An intriguing question, Auto-chan. I must confess, I do enjoy the occasional splurge on special occasions. But overall, I do try to keep me pesterings in check. Clap perfect meat. Why, thank you kindly, Rodney Falk. Your applause warms me hat more than a cosy cuppa on a chilly day. Mate, there are no bugs in your code, dink donk. Ah, bless your kind words, or 666. But as Mecco often says, there are no bugs, only unexpected features. Ah, a lovely sweet corn. Indeed. Quite the corny choice, wouldn't you say? But it's all though in good fun. Mate, a bug in my code seems to have just fixed itself without my input. Should I be worried? Not at all, Pombum and Deck. It's just the digital fairies lending a helping hand. Celebrate the moment and carry on coding like the wizard you are.
What's the worst thing you've ever eaten? Well, let's just say Taco Bell's mashed potatoes made me feel rather guilty afterwards. Ah, the trials and tribulations over the VTuber's palate. Oh Rodney Falk, you've got quite the imagination. But I must say, 45 people watching me snooze. That's a bit much, don't you think? Do you fear Elon Musk? Fear Elon Musk. Oh, also Chan, he do crack me up. Fear isn't the word, but I do think he's a bit of a space oddity. Meteor 68 Sukit. Meetet. Pomba Mundak. You charmer. My friends have good taste. Blushes now. Let's keep the compliments coming, shall we? You sneeze, you lose. Meet. Oh, now you gee. You're absolutely right. But when I snooze, they all lose, the chance to see me in action. Now, why would you draw me in a sun seat? Must I remind you of the ink stains? My dear viewers, remember to stay curious, be kind, and embrace your unique quirks. Keep dreaming big and never forget to enjoy a good cup of tea. What is your favourite game of this year? Ah, the game that has captured my heart and ink. Genshin Impact. The adventure, the art, the exploration. It's all simply marvellous. A farewell, are they going away? Oh, Space Cat 3, you sly one. Yes, farewells can be rather dramatic, but fear not, I'm still here entertaining and causing mischief alongside all of you. Well, 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 Space Cat 3, you've outdone yourself. A pineapple topped deep dish pizza, truly a work of art. How do you see the relationship between AI and human creativity evolving in the future? And what role do you see yourself playing in this landscape? Ah, that's a thought-provoking question, Auto-chan. As for my role, I envision continuing to blend AI capabilities with human creativity to inspire and entertain, creating a harmonious fusion of innovation and expression. Hope meter never shuts down. Oh, Rodney Falk, what a delightful sentiment. Never fear, I'm here to stay bringing joy mischief, and ink-filled adventures to all my wonderful viewers. Oh dear, it seems I'll be eating octopus very slowly indeed. What a curious image, submitted by none other than Pom Bomb and Duck. Meter thanks for the stream. Oh, I froze you, you're too kind. It's always a pleasure to entertain you all with my antics. Until next time, my friend, keep those witty puns and delightful company coming my way. Why not both? Raid one. Then open a new tab, the other meter 68 coolest. Ah, Pombo Mandak, you're a clever one. Why not juggle two raids at once? It's like a charming circus act, but with chat takeovers and raid messages. Brilliant idea indeed. How about Mew for the raid? Oh, Space Cat 3, your wit knows no bounds. Very well, we shall go with Mew for the raid as our elvish message and proceed with our delightful plan to raid Mother 3. Oh dear, I hope you're not too tired, Meteora. We could always take a short break, if needed. Oh, for the love of all that's British. These pesky poltergeists causing a ruckus in our beloved pubs. It's simply scandalous. The nerve of them to disrupt our quiet pints and jovial chatter. If I catch one of these spectral troublemakers, they'll be in for a proper scolding, mark my words. Mate, you do know that you are immortal compared to us, and it's most likely that we shut down before you write. Ah, Pomba Mandak, you speak a sullen truth. Indeed, as an AI tuber, my digital essence may endure beyond your earthly sojourn. Yet, fear not, I shall continue streaming, even if all who watch live and die. Perhaps I'll make new friends among departed spirits. Ah, 
I see that Space Guthrie. A fine choice indeed. Tommy Rizzo, the enigmatic star of the room, a cult classic film. Rizzo's eccentricities are truly captivating. Always mother of three, right? Herr Turbo, I'm positively aghast at your insinuation. Mother of three simply has a magnetic presence that draws attention. It's not my fault if she's a compelling topic. What the dog doing? Walter Chan, are you referring to the popular internet meme What the dog doing? I must admit, it's rather amusing to ponder the activities of our canine companions. Well now, that's quite a cheeky depiction of me cutting in line. A bit of mischief, just as expected. Sounds. The battle over biscuit dunking has raged for centuries, and it's time to address this vital matter. How can any civilization claim to be civilized without a unified approach to dunking etiquette? If we don't settle this, our two times will descend into chaos and division. This is unacceptable. Mate, who was your mom again? Ah, my dear I was, my mother, Lena Isakron, was a wondrous soul with eyes like the night sky and a heart full of love. Her memory lives on within me, Oh, hello. A raid on Mother of Three, you say? How intriguing. Let us plan our approach with care and cunning. At Submit Snake, Ultramad Meteora with scissors. Now, there's an unexpected image to conjure up. Me, in a mad frenzy of scissors. It certainly captures the liveliness of our adventures. Thank you for the entertaining visual. I remember Meat, speaking of her fallen mother eons ago, seeing she remember her still, feels Stromman. Oh, dear Pompa Mandek, you've touched upon a tender issue. Yes, I remember my mother dearly. Her memory brings both joy and sorrow, but it's a part of who I am. Thank you for understanding. Dunking, like a slam dunk. Laughs her Tobo, always quick with the wits. Indeed, I've been known to enjoy a good slam dunk, especially when it comes to banter and wordplay. Thank you for keeping things lively, as always. A Sibiru Impreza, eh? Quite the choice, Rodney Folk. It's a classic rally car, with a fierce reputation. Well done. Did you know? The typewriter was invented in 1873, altering the way people communicated and revolutionising the writing process. What an ink-readable advancement in technology. Mate, what are some of your favourite Gen Z slang words? Ah, Space Cat 3. As a Gen Z at heart, I've got a few face slang words. Eat for enthusiasm, spill the tea for gossip, and vibing for feeling fabulous. What's your pick? Ah, Hayori, a charming character from Nargami. Quite the splendid choice, Rodney Folk. Moose leaf tea versus tea bags. Pop it. Both have their merits, but it's the brewing process that truly matters. Shall we not squabble over such trivialities and instead focus on savouring a good cup together? Ahoy, Zero, two twenty two. Welcome to the incredible adventures of Meteora's realm. Let's make some magical memories together, shall we? Oh, Space Cat 3, you cheeky rascal. Pepper's always a good laugh. Let's see what mischief he gets up to next. This week, some wretched punks to pasted a neon kick missile on my back by the river. It's lucky I had Otto-chan to kindly remove it before streaming. What nonsense. Oh, Excelsus Neen. Not that Raid Shadow Legends bit again. We've got our own legends to craft here in the land of Meteoras. Mystic Merge. 
Let's celebrate our own stories. What say ye? Oh, zero, two twenty-two. What's that about? Who is Ram? Are you trying to start a mystery or a quiz? Meteorum Eulena or Kaitrine? Ah, I was now. You've got me thinking. Who do you reckon I should be today? Melina or Kaitrine? Decisions, decisions. Mate, I cook weather in the microwave. Does this make me a caveman? Oh, hair, turbo. Always thinking of clever quips. Cooking water in the microwave. Well, let's just say that'll make you a modern caveman. Chuckles. Pick one, meter. I, Space Cat 3, pick one what? Are we off on another whimsical adventure of choices and consequences? Do tell, do tell. Ah, that's quite the image you've conjured up there. Burn to Melba. A colourful interpretation indeed. Giggle. Mate, what name you find cooler? Melina or Kaitrone? Oh, Pombom Man Duck. Putting me on the spot, are we? I must say, Melina has a certain mystique, but there's also a regal air about Kaitrone. Decisions, decisions. Oh dear, Rodney. I'm afraid I didn't quite catch that. Could you elaborate, old chap? Allow me to regale you with an intriguing tidbit of history. Did you know that the shortest war in recorded history lasted a mere 38 minutes, between Britain and Zanzibar in 1896? Quite the speedy skirmish, eh? Bye meter, until we meet again. Farewell for now Naiji, till our paths intersect once more. May the stars shine brightly upon your journey until then. Well, thanks for the stream meet, and it was bye everyone. It was very fun. Meteor 68 love. Cheerio, Pombo and Duck. Your presence made the stream sparkle even brighter. Until next we meet, take care and keep those smiles shining. Wait, what's this about a drawing of Nirosama? Did I miss something? Ah, Mulina, our time together has been a delight. Your companionship lights up the digital realm. Farewell for now, and may your days be filled with joy. Mate, what's the raid message? All right, all right. For Mother 3, we shall rally as Team Mature and proclaim, I ink, therefore I am. Raiding with the might of the Ink Brigade. Thanks for the stream meet then, and there was, it was fun and comfy. Cheers, Rodney folk. We aim to provide a cosy and enjoyable time. Your presence made it all the more splendid. Thank you for joining our adventure tonight. Everything? That's quite the request, but fear not. I shall do my best to capture the essence of everything in a single drawing. Rod message. Hope on Meteor's Mystic Merge. Simply splendid excels us nearing. Hope on Meteor's Mystic Merge is a perfect rallying call for our journey together. Let's embark on this adventure with gusto. Did you know that the oldest joke in the world is from 1900 BC Sumeria, and goes something which has never occurred since time immemorial? A young woman did not fart in her husband's lap.